Hello guys, welcome to this video. In this video, the question is: A man invests rupees five thousand for three years at a certain rate of interest, compounded annually. At the end of one year, it amounts to rupees five thousand six hundred. Calculate the rate of interest per annum. The interest occurred in the second year. The amount at the end of the third year. So this is the question. So I solve this. So this question I will do with the simple interest formula. So let's start. So first we write that for first year principal is equal to five thousand. Rate is equal to so the rate is not mentioned in the question, so you have to take it as unknown known value that we take it as x. So time first year means one year. Time is equal to one year, and amount that we take as a. So that is given five thousand six hundred. So now I have to find out the SI first. So therefore, SI for first year. So the formula is amount minus principal. So amount is five thousand six hundred minus the principal that is five thousand because you pay six hundred is the SI. So now, now you put our formula that is PRT by hundred is equal to SI. So PRT means from principal into rate into time by hundred is equal to the simple interest. So now we put the values. Principal is five thousand. Rate is X into one time is one by hundred is equal to the simple interest that is six hundred. So first we cut the zeros here. So now in this side nothing only remains to cut. So we write 50x is equal to 600. 15 to x into 1 it becomes 50x. So now is becomes x is equal. Now 50 is going to this side. So it goes for division. 50. Make what take zero. So now I cut 5 and 60 it becomes 12. So that means rate of interest will be equal to 12 percent. So now now in the question it is given that we have to find the interest occurred in the second year. So therefore, right. For second year, principal is principal will equal to rupees. So the principal that is for the first year, I mean the amount the uh, for the first year that will only become the principal for the second year. So the amount for the first year equation is given five thousand six hundred. So we have five thousand six hundred. The rate we have came to know that it is twelve percent, and time will be equal to one year. So therefore, the SI is equal to we have to buy hundred same formula. Put the values five six zero zero into twelve into one by hundred. First cut as zeros. So remains fifty six into twelve, which will equal to rupees six hundred seventy two. So therefore, this is the SI for the Second year. So now in the question is given that you have to find out the amount at the end of the third year. So for that first you have to find out the SI for the first uh, third year and the amount at the end of the second year. So first you write the amount of this end of second year is equal to here is equal to so it becomes principal plus SI. The principal is our five thousand six hundred plus the SI that is six hundred seventy two. So it becomes rupees six thousand two hundred seventy two. So therefore, this is the amount at the end of the second year. So now I have to find out the interest for the third year. So for that, we write for third year. Principal will be equal to rupees. So the amount at the end of the second year that is six thousand two hundred seventy. It will become the um, principal for this third year. So rate will be same twelve percent, and time will also be one year. So now therefore, SI will be equal to P R T by hundred. So put the value six two seven two into twelve into one by hundred. So first we cut twelve and hundred. 
it will become 6 by 2 I cut so 9 becomes 50 so again I cut it becomes 3 and it becomes 25 so now nothing can be cut so it becomes 6 to 7 to into 3 by 25 so I put the values now so 6 to 7 to into 3 it will become 18,000 816 by we got 3 sorry by we got 25 so now I have to divide this so, so divide it so 18,816 so first 25 7 there it becomes 175 so remainder it becomes 30 now 1 so now um, 25 5 is there it will become 135 so it becomes 60 6 down 6 6 now 2 is at 50 so it becomes 16 so now you have to you cannot cut it anymore so you have to keep a decimal point and then write 0 once more so now 6 is at 150 so remainder 10 so now 1 more 0 so now you can cut directly cut by 4 it becomes 100 so therefore the amount at the end of this third year will become sorry the SI for this third year will become 752.64 so now the last thing you have to find out that is the amount at the end of the third year so therefore amount at the end of the third year will become so same formula principal plus SI. So principal is 6272 plus the SI that is we find out just now 752.64. So which will become rupees 7024.64. So therefore this is the amount at the end of the third year. So now I write the all the answers that the number one answer it is given. And rate of interest per annum that we got 12% per annum. So number two question it is given that the interest amount the interest occurred in the second year so that will be the SI for the second year which is rupees 672 and the third one it is given the amount at the end of the third year which will become this one that is 7224.64 so therefore these are our final answer for this question so guys thanks for watching this video and please subscribe my channel for more solution